Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on this week's video, I'm going to be doing um, a page of my sketchbook. Well, it, I did it for a challenge that I was doing. It was this YouTuber Karina Singh's 5-day um, sketchbook challenge. I wanted to do it because like I had art block and I wasn't able to think of something in my mind, you know, like I wasn't getting any creative ideas. So I was like, you know what, let's have instructions down for us so that I, we can get out of this art block. And since I have exams, my, there's no school work either. So like there's, I'm not doing art for school, I'm not doing art for myself. So I was like, yeah, let's do this. So her challenge definitely helped me out, but like the first two days, it doesn't look that great, the pages. After that, it did turn out really well. I really liked the, the last three pages. But like, yeah, the challenge is actually fun. You guys should definitely check it out. I'll link the, both her videos and the cha her channel down. She's pretty big, so I think like most of you would know her. So, um, yeah. And like the prompt for day five was interpreting a music album you really like. So I chose the most beautiful moment in life, Young Forever by BTS. Um, I, I chose that when I was scrolling through all their albums. I was like, you know what, let's do this. So I think you kind of get the idea of the hot air balloon that I'm doing. It, it's obviously based off of the album cover, but I kind of did a, a rainbow on it. Because when I listen to the playlist, some of the songs make me feel like I, I'm, you know, like in the clouds when it's a rainbow. Like it, it it's this feeling. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So basically, in the video, Karina talks about like how you should flow with the music. So that, like your art just evolve evolves with the music. So it's like you know what? Yeah, I, I played like the first song and my mind went straight to like making a rainbow and I was like you know what let's make the hot air balloon the rainbow so that is what I'm doing here I kind of also did like abstract stuff that comes in later huh? I just point it for you but still it's like yeah that's just so that's just what I'm doing here and if you're wondering about my supplies I'll link them all below so don't worry about that for this one, I kind of chose my cheap color pencils rather than the other ones because these work really well as well. They, they're just not soft, like they're not soft core. So like the blending with these is a little harder than the other one that I have. These are Dom's and the other one that I have are from Vincent and Newton. So yeah, so that's what I chose. I was just going with the flow basically like listening to the music and vibing and so yeah Karina's art kind of does inspire me a lot I usually try and do like piece like I use references most of the time you know for my watercolor ones like if I don't even if I don't like completely do the exact same thing as in the reference I usually use a reference and do my pieces I usually kind of go for like my own ideas when it's acrylic or like other things but I, every time I pick up watercolors I really want a reference before I start so like she kind of even when I use color pencils so I need a reference so like she kind of inspires me to try more abstract with anything that I do I didn't before I used to think like abstract art I don't think it's my thing but like after I found out Karina's channel and I started watching more of her videos and how she does things and everything I was like wow this is actually fun I should definitely try this and I started doing random pieces here and there and like doing ab more abstract art you know it's fun yeah you really should check her out because the way she talks about things and everything, she's just so cool. You, I usually watch her draw and chat with me, so like sketch with me videos. They are truly amazing. Like, she is amazing. I am definitely fangirling over her right now. But like, yes, she is amazing. So you should definitely check her out. And like, yeah, this is where I went on with the abstract part. Yeah. 
as you can see I picked up markers um, brush pens actually um, and I started randomly putting swatches of the colors that I had if you're wondering why it's so patchy it's because half of them are out of ink and I forgot to buy new ones so don't mind that it kinda is a vibe with the swatchy work like that yeah definitely so um yeah that's all if you're wondering how my exams are going they're going well i'm doing good except for stressing out and being nervous and sweaty all the time it's not much you know i'm definitely not stressing it too much at all and yeah that is it let's just sit and vibe with me drawing this butterfly for now and i'll be back in a minute This is the finished piece. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye bye.